Okay, guys, so today I just want to do the simplest, I mean simplest chicken strips you possibly ever saw. And we're gonna go KFC style. Uh, I think it's gonna be amazing. Uh, stick around because there's three things. I'm sure you know me by now. There's always three things that I want to share uh, with you. Three tips. Because you know, you can always make a recipe, do a video, people can watch. But there's those behind the scenes secrets or tips that you really want to share so that someone, if someone has to try this recipe, then they succeed. So it's very important that you watch it through so that you get to understand the depth of this recipe. So uh, without further ado, let's get on. Really? I didn't see. What did you do? To I, I said, don't worry, Daddy. I'll save you. Did you say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, can I do that too? Yeah. <laughs> it's a panty. Ah. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> it's a panty. <laughs> Why do you think like that, sweetie? That's not a panty. Come on. <laughs> It's a panty, Wunku. <laughs> it's a panty. Ah! Who was dressed like. Uh, what did you say? Alsa. Oh, Alsa. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was a Tara. A Tara was dressed like who? Um, Alsa. Oh, Alsa. <laughs> oh, what is that? We just make it with that. What is that? Looks like chick. What is that? We also made it with peanut butter. Peanut butter? <laughs> but now it's what? not spread it. Yeah. I don't like it when it's don't like it when it's not spread. But I only like it when it's spread. To ask your own teacher. Do you have a teacher? Ask my teacher. Then. Yeah. I wish you can be a kid and come to my class. Huh? I wish you can be a kid. So that you said you wish you can come to my class. No, mom. Okay, guys, so tip number one I prefer my dough to set overnight. Once it's simmered, I just keep it in the fridge and I'll work with it the following day. That way, I get beautiful, beautiful uh, shreds, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so number two, you really need to understand the relationship between your flour and your water. And the reason why I say that is that because flowers are different, some flowers are heavy, meaning dense, and some flowers are light. Like for instance, here I used cake flour, and it's just 700 grams of cake flour, equivalent to 300 mils of uh, water. Now, you might find that you're using a different types of flour or different type of flour effect that is heavy, uh, so obviously that will require more water. So you just need to uh, understand the relationship between the two and uh, you're good to go. Okay guys, so remember in the beginning I said there is always four things involved and that's your flavor, your texture, your nutrients and your color, right? We achieved everything. Now, it is really important, especially here, to achieve the texture because we're looking for that chicken-like uh, texture we're looking for that uh, fleshiness if you know what I mean how do you then achieve that number one you need to make sure you rest your flour I mean your dough 
long enough. I say in the recipe 15 minutes, but sometimes you might find that 15 minutes is not even enough because you still you, you see there is a lot of water that your dough is still releasing. Go ahead and let it rest for another 15 minutes. Even an hour is still fine because we really want it uh, to release all that water. But it also helps when it releases that water. It helps when you are what? When you are doing your notes and stuff, it does. Right? So that's the last one. Really, really helps. Okay guys, so now our chicken is super, super ready. What I loved is that the texture is beautiful, beautiful. As you can see, I mean, it's power. And remember, there's always four things involved when I'm cooking, and that's your texture, color, nutrients, and flavor. Okay, and we achieved everything here. But right before I test here, I just want to remind you that I've got a Patreon account, and if you're someone who's interested, especially in sighting white flour, or if you're interested in uh, homemade cheese for vegans, if you're interested in those kind of things, I've got a Patreon account, and the link is on the description. Uh, I appreciate it if you can support me if you can join uh, us and then we can discuss we can you know you can understand it at a depth uh, at a deeper level let me just say that at a deeper level so yeah and by the way if you think that there is any value that you're getting here I'll appreciate subscription a hit on that notification button let us test now Ooh. 